Hey guys, Chad and Charles here. Uh, we just wanted to make a short video uh, talking about some of the issues, well actually one of the biggest issues that we had on uh, season alpha with us being camera folk. Power is a huge one. I know that was one of my biggest issues. Pretty sure that was one of yours. Yeah, super hard to keep the, the fridges running, the camera batteries charged, flashlights charged, um, and everything else. Uh, because the Jackery 12 volt uh, car charger takes 14 hours. We weren't on the road for 14 hours a day. We had the solar panels, but they weren't an option for us because uh, one, they also take um, 10 to 13 hours to charge, um, even with two. We just, we didn't have that much time at camp or there wasn't sun. And so just keeping them charged was a constant issue for us. Yeah, and back then, uh, you know, some of the setups that you see here right now, uh, you know, Season Alpha was about three years ago. We've since built up our rigs a little bit better. Like I have a solar panel on top now, uh, which helped me out a lot on uh, Season Bravo. But we're gonna go ahead and talk about this conversion because we've got the brains right here that figured it out. And I'll tell you what, this was uh, probably one of the best, cheapest mods that we did to our vehicles to help us accommodate um, dealing with these power issues. So what we're talking about is the 12 to 24 volt conversion and taking that 12 volts out of your car, converting it to 24 volt to increase the charging times. Uh, Cause that's exactly what the house charger does is it converts it to 24 volt and bumps your charging time down to seven and a half hours. So full disclosure, Jackery did send us a few of these units for season alpha a few years ago. Jackery did not, uh, doesn't have any say in what we say about them and they are not sponsoring this video in any way but we just really like their units and probably would have bought these anyways um, because they've been invaluable for the, the camera work and for the overlanding stuff that we do. So this is the uh, Jackery Explorer 1000. This is an older unit. Uh, with this being three years old, the company has come out with newer units, you know, better tech every single year and they get better and better. Um, not to say that this is obsolete. There's still a ton of people out there in the world running this, but the new Jackery Explorer 1000 Pro, I believe it is, um, has the faster car charging and what they're doing is just using two 12 volt uh, inputs and converting that to 24 on the inside. So we're doing the same thing, just with one cord and a couple of parts. So first off, just a, a brief overview how I have my electrical set up under the hood of my GX. I'm running a aux beam uh, switch panel one of their older models and one of the circuits I have going to the 12 to 24 volt converter. From there, I'm running out of the converter to a secondary four circuit fuse block. This just lets me keep the 12 volt and 24 volt circuits separate and I can hook up a few more 24 volt systems in the future. So after coming through the firewall, pretty easy to pop up your floor trim and route your cable to the back seat. So I bought the 20 foot extension cable. You can get this in 30 foot. Honestly, 20 foot is plenty long enough in case I wanna run the whole power system in the back. Currently, I just have it right here in the back seat behind the passenger seat. And I have the extra just coiled up underneath the seat and it plugged in like so. So this is how I have my Jackery currently set up. Um, I probably will change things up here in a little bit, but honestly, this has worked pretty well for the last uh, couple of years. Let's go over to Chad's vehicle and see how he has his 24 volt system set up. So as you can see, my setup is actually here in the cab as opposed to under the hood like Charles is. Um, it's the same exact setup, just mounted to my rear drawer system here. Here's the 12 to 24 volt converter. And then I've got the, uh, the bus panel <coughs> or the, the fuse block here. And the main wire that charges the Jackery uh, goes directly from here, kind of runs along the back here and plugs into my Jackery over on the driver's side. I did not opt for doing a switch. So the cable that 
uh, charges the Jackery is always hot. Um, so I have to make sure and remind myself to always unplug it and plug it um, or there will be constant power to the Jackery. That's just the way I wanted to do it. Personally, I like Charles's way, but I just didn't have time to do it that way. And I kind of have left it at that and have not upgraded. So hopefully here in the near future, I am going to be doing a dual battery setup. And I, whew, that, this is a, that's a whole nother video, but I am trying to get this thing set up to house everything in this general space. So I've got my solar 24 volt conversion. Uh, dual battery, uh, you know, water water pump for a uh, an aux water tank I'm going to have right here. Um, there's just going to be a whole lot of electrical components that I want in this particular space. So that's why I started uh, running all my cables and everything back here and mounting to my drawer system. Um, and that's kind of the setup that I have for now. So a few final thoughts. I still like to carry my house charger as well as a couple of solar panels with me in case for whatever reason the 24 volt system dies, your, your vehicle dies, or you're just at a location for the night where you can bring your Jackery inside, plug it, plug it in, and recharge that way. Always good to have multiple different options to charge your battery when you're out on the road. Yeah, this, this mod may not be for everybody and everybody kind of has their own different way of doing things, but this is something that worked really, really well for us and we figured there might be some other folks out there who kind of have this issue and this is a great cheap solution, uh, you know, to fix that problem. Honestly, I think even if I was running a dual battery setup, I would still want a 24 volt conversion just for the speed of, of you know getting stuff charged so thanks for watching guys I know this wasn't like a uh, an exact detail on a how-to video uh, this was just kind of more of an informational video um, we will have a lot more videos like this coming out that go into a little bit more detail of the vehicles themselves rig walk arounds all that good stuff so until next time thanks for watching guys We'll see you soon. See ya.